rap the light. Rap, rap, rap the light. Rap the light. Yo, welcome to the Rap the Lights Podcast. I am Bats. That is Miss Smith. The Rap the Light Podcast does no gossip, no cultural appropriation, just the raw shit. What's going on, Miss Smith over there? Hey, not much, not much. Miss Smith done kicked off her shoes and got the whole place smelling like corn chips. First of all, I had sandals <laughs> on, Negro, okay? And those corn chips are a result of those Tostitos I was just eating, okay? Shit. Blame, blame it on Check the Tostitos. Check your facts. Blame it on the Tostitos <laughs> over here. You know what I mean? So what's good out there in the hood, man? Everything good? Oh, oh, oh. Um, last week we didn't get a chance to talk about. Congratulations to Young Miami. And they're pregnant. They're pregnant. Yeah, pregnant. yeah, 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 yeah. You know I mean? But she Having was hiding it for a minute. Like no, she didn't have a baby yet. No, no, she had a baby, but she like, yeah, yeah. Pregnant so she, and everything she released like that. She's it. She's actually showing and everything. She's very, she's very far along. And mm-hmm. did you catch part of the documentary that they did where mm-hmm. she actually showed? I only the watched them twerking. Where she. <laughs> life is a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the documentary is where she actually showed the moment where she actually um, reached out to her camp okay. and told them that she was pregnant. Is she pregnant by somebody in her camp? She's pregnant by a producer in the camp, but, yeah, not, so <laughs> but not, not not the guys that actually kind of fund them and put them yeah, out there and yeah. kind of circulate that, their yeah, music. Yeah, because that's kind of yeah. like a pickle for them because they put the money behind yeah. them. Now you got JT in jail. Yeah. She about to be out on yeah. maternity leave. Yeah, so that's what she was kind of saying in the yeah. documentary. Like, she was crying. It was real yeah, emotional. Like, like, what the fuck? Like, they, I, I know I'm supposed to be holding this down right now. Now, yeah, but you, but I couldn't keep I couldn't keep that schlong. But I couldn't keep that schlong away. I'm allergic to birth control. I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I'm just speculating. I don't know. I don't know. But you know, it's neither here or there. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. You know what I, mean? I yeah. always like to see you know what I mean black love and, and I mean babies and all that kind of yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. I support we just, that. We, we you know hope it ends well. But yeah, yeah. Well, should. I mean, I yeah. mean the baby should be all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, Mom yeah, making yeah, money yeah. and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's a cutie too. I, I mean, I prefer. Uh, JT personally, yeah, you know what I mean. You prefer JT lyrically. I prefer no, no, no. I like JT. You like JT? I like JT. I like that. I like the little brown, um, little off the wall brown, like the little crazy brown girls. Like yeah, you. yeah. Hey. <laughs> Woo! The crazy brown Jones. Always yeah. knew. Always knew. Yeah, always yeah, knew. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Shout out to JT. I mean, shout out to um, Young Miami. Shout out to the City Girls. Uh, yeah. Free JT. Yeah. And everything like that. That that's, I meant to talk about that last. I week. did have a question about that really quickly. Uh-huh. When I watched this documentary, it looked like she was only supposed to be incarcerated for six months. It's, Ooh, been, yeah. longer it's been longer than that. Listen, listen. They keep us in there as long as they can. Damn. You know what I mean? They don't Damn. fuck around. Like them cops and stuff do not oh, fuck yeah, around. That's, 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 that's crazy. I didn't know that. But yeah, but anyway, congrats. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you tell us if you get pregnant, all right? Why? <clears throat> Listen, Please. we need to know. I'm coming in this joint like, Oh, hey, no. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Message. Surprise, surprise. Ew. No. <laughs> I don't but do no, that. that's what's up. That's all what's right. Um, so uh, as usual, we uh, shoot into like um, what we're listening to. What we listen to two segment basically gives you a window into our uh music tastes and everything like that so we're gonna shoot over here to my sister miss smith what you've been listening to this week so with the official start of summer, summer i've kind of summer, been throwing it back summer, to a lot summer. of songs that have been kind of um, reminiscent of summer's past um of course summertime dj daddy jeff who and doesn't the, listen the to that in the fresh friend but just things that kind of get me in the mindset of some 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 great summers i've had which was another one um I've been listening to, uh, 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 Come on, get it together. Where your notes at? <laughs> Where your notes at? You know what I mean? I've listened to Summertime. I've listened to, um, oh, Little Kim. What's that? It's, it's, she's in, uh, um, Quiet Storm. Uh, listen to that beat. Listen, you hear that? I remember the first time I heard this. And I was like, wow. Because you remember I told you yeah. I didn't have a big yeah. thing with, with, with Will yeah. Smith. And I heard this. I was like, oh. Okay. This was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was amazing. Not only was it amazing, but seeing the video 
at the Platte and seeing Philadelphia and Prime and Philadelphia yeah, and then yeah. seeing like actual local people like yeah. I knew in the video like this yeah. was so big for me yeah I loved it everything about this I actually got this CD I actually, actually own this CD but I got it through like that uh remember that joint used to be able to get like 10 CDs for uh, a dime that mail yeah, 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 yeah yeah I got them yeah. like that <laughs> got them I think that's just still on my credit score <laughs> <laughs> I saw a lot of people credit score, first of all. It was Columbia House. Yeah, Columbia, Columbia House. House. <laughs> Columbia House was the first Shout motherfucker to, Columbia House. to ruin my credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, that's where but I got it Yeah, from. yeah. So I've listened to some to that. Um, uh, the, the joint with uh, Little Kim and, uh, you know, that's my dip anyway. Little Kim and Mob Deep. What's that uh, joint? Um, Quiet Storm. Quiet Storm. Listen to that. Um, I'm Why did that you. remind you of summer? Did that come out in the summertime? It didn't, but it just reminds me of summer. Just, I just remember the video. I remember Kim up on the bar. It was just like, it was just, it just had some summer vibes to it. Mm -hmm. um, another good one. You guys might not be into, but uh, uh... but the goat. LL Cool J, I'ma Love You Better. That oh, was one yeah, of my joints. Oh, listen, yeah, listen, I yeah, fuck yeah. with this. That was one of my joints. Y'all got me, listen. <laughs> LL, let me tell you something. Right. LL Cool J. <laughs> Is is the was like the first hip hop superstar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he was the first motherfucker like going platinum, platinum, right. like on a consistent basis. That's right. That's and he, right. he I fuck with LL. That's right. So I, I fucked with Love You Better. Yeah, that yeah. was that yeah. is like my all time favorite. Yeah, I, I fuck love with if you know Denise, I told my friends, y'all better play that at my funeral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you know Denise, that is my theme song. I love yeah, that yeah, song. Yes. How does this, don't this just scream summertime? Yeah, you was the rolling top. Right, now. yeah, this summertime. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fucked with L L heavy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, this was tough. So that's what I've been listening to. I've just been going just back in the crate. Summer shit. On some summer shit. That's right. Just, mm -hmm. you know, put the windows down and just bobbing out. Yeah, because you got to put the windows down so the AC don't work. God, yo, you, yo. <laughs> yo. This is some behind the scenes shit, all right? You don't need to be telling the masses what I got going on, all right? Goodness gracious. See, I'm black. It's that black on black crime I keep telling you Right under the bus. Right under the bus. Right under the bus. Yeah, so shout man. out to anybody that knows how to fix the air because I am looking yeah, for she you. Yeah, she's in desperate need. I'm in desperate need. Yes. Desperate need of air yes. over here. You know what I mean? It's she, hot, got, hot. she got a lot of hot air it's going on hot, over here. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, enough of me. What are you listening to? Um, I um been listening to. I ain't been get. I ain't get on my summertime shit yet. You know what I mean? But uh, there's a new album that just came out. Um, by uh Benny. Benny the Butcher, oh, okay. uh, and it's called The Plugs I Met. And Benny the Butcher is uh, a part of the whole uh, R.J. Payne camp and everything like that. Oh, is he? And uh, he got a, this, I like to call it, like from my perspective on it, I like to call it like the continuation of, um, of Pusha T's uh, last album, Daytona. Okay. It's like the continuation of Daytona. Okay. It's just like, just, just hard ass beats, drug rap. Corner shit. He got black daughter. Let me let me let me go through the like the playlist or whatever like that. But this this song right here is like a little reminiscent of some woo. It's, yeah, it, the yeah, beat kind of sound like sounds some, like, like, like wooish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. Like some type shit. Uh, so the, uh, the album's called The Plugs I Met by uh, Benny Benny the Butcher. This song right here you're listening to was uh, Crowns for the Crowns for Kings featuring Black Thought. Okay. He has another song on here called uh, Sunday School featuring uh, 38 Special and Jada Kiss. He has another joint called Dirty Harry with uh, R.J. Payne and Conway. Then he has another joint called 18 Wheeler featuring Pusha T. And all it's only like seven joints on here. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like I like to couple it with Daytona, cause then you get like a like a full like a, yeah. type of joint or whatever yeah, like that. Right. But this joint is like straight big boy rap shit. Like they be talking talking heavy street shit on. And here. all seven joints is, is fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Heavy right. street shit. Cool. It's kind of hard to not have. A, oh, hard George, you only got you only seven got songs. Seven you know you picked the, the yeah, most yeah, yeah, yeah. popping. The creme de la creme. Exactly. You know what I mean? But yeah, the John with Pusher, like I said, it's just got joints on here. You know what I mean? Benny the Butcher. The, and look at, the, did you see the album cover? Let me see that. Pull the album cover up. See the album cover. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh that's Tony. Tony, Tony so, yeah. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Dope that's shit. tough. I like that. Yeah, I like so that. that, that, that when was this release? This uh, just came out uh, this week. 
Did our girl send you that? Did she? Uh... No, 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 no. This is on title. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. This is on title. Nice. This is on title. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Chrissy Mack and Hey, her Chris. Yeah, so yeah, but this is on title. Let's say whole camp, or whatever like that. So All that right. joint is dope. And uh, Gucci Mane got a new joint out. I did not know that. Uh huh. Delusions of Grandeur. How is that? And I would have never thought in my entire life that I would like look forward to a Gucci Mane now. Cause I never fucked with. I didn't fuck with that early shit. I pick and choose. That, like I, there, it's just I pick the <laughs> songs that I like from Gucci. Um, but I didn't know he had some new shit out. But I, I didn't. I didn't fuck with him at all. How you oh, doing? look who finally showed up. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. God bless you. Good night. <laughs> you were and you say that with such gumption, like I was sleep. I didn't care y'all was here. Yeah, yeah, y'all sitting here sweating your balls off. Goodness gracious! <laughs> TSK's in the house. TSK one. What's good? Yeah, yeah we, we on. on. I was <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Gucci Mane got to join out. Um, see, that's that's. That's why you were asleep. This is why. That's why you were asleep. <laughs> this is why. Is that Jim Bean? Jesus. Yeah. This is why. Double oak. Double. Twice barreled. Oak. Jim Bean. Yo, speaking of it. No, you gotta No, make it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But try some. Ooh. I'm so good. That shit Ooh. will put hair on my chest. Ooh. You already got hair on your chest. You good? No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, right. it's been shaved. It's been waxed. It's been so waxed and business. shaved. Been waxed oh, yeah, you going shaved. on vacation next week. That's I forgot. Right. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to Jamaica. All right, so the Delusion of Grandeur is a uh, Gucci Man's 14th studio album. Damn. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, he cranked out like three a year now. Yo, but the evolution of Gucci is yeah, crazy. Because yeah, yeah, if you go back yeah. to an album one, yeah, it yeah. is completely different yeah. than what we're listening to right now. Absolutely. Isn't Gucci like the, the father of rap? He's one. He, would, he is a. He would call himself the father yeah, of rap music. Yeah. But it's like a, a Mount Rushmore to me. You got T.I. T.I. That's who I'm thinking of. T.I. You got Gucci. You got T.I. And then you got Jeezy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like. I don't, I'm not from Atlanta. I don't grow up on trap music. I didn't come up with it. It's not from my region. But when I think of trap music, that's who I think of from the yeah. beginning. So what's in that cup? Um. We got that rum punch from last week. Oh, yeah. we downed it, yeah. yeah. Not, oh, oh, yeah, that's done. Then. You're done, so you got to drink what you drink. <laughs> All right, uh, Delusion of Grandeur. Uh, this joint with uh, Meek Mill's uh, Backwards. He has How's a joint with... Uh, that's, this is what's playing right that's now. That's what's playing right now? He has a joint called Hands Off with uh, Jeremiah. He has a joint called uh, Blind with uh, A Boogie with a Hoodie. And he has a joint called Lame. With uh, Wiz Khalifa and Rick Ross. That's dope so they got right a lot there. of features. That's what yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah. to check this one out. Because yeah. I actually, like I said, I like Gucci, but I pick and choose what I like. There's some things I like, some things I don't like. Uh -huh. And I haven't even heard this, like, hit, yeah, this, like, just, airwaves this, yet. This, like, I'm just, like, I'm, you know, my well, serious is, XM, I haven't even heard him, like, hit yeah, that. So is, I'm going to check that is, out. This is just, this just came out Friday. And who okay. Record, who record is this? Uh, Gucci Mane. Oh, your boy came out with a new album on Friday, too. Who's that? Uh, say, Little uh, Nas X. Oh, did he? I thought you were going to say uh, <laughs> Tatiana Blue. Oh, Tati <laughs> Tatiana Blue Face? Nah, nah, nah. Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, Little Nas, Nas, Nas X. So now we get to see a little bit of, of, of more to, 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 than just the uh, the Western uh, vibe, right? Is he, is he, if he's versatile. It's like, you get to see it's if he's alternative. It's yeah. all it's like if he's versatile or it if fits right to the pocket of all the rest of these young boys. It's it like does. Yeah. It does. He's just gonna get an extra push because that big single. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they don't all sound like you wanna take I, but I knew it would. Yeah, I like, knew it would. I knew Yo, it they got do... that fucking song on the fucking trailer for the new Rambo movie. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, I can't, yeah. I'm not hating. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm not hating. Yeah. Wow. I saw that Rambo trailer. Yeah, yeah. You gonna go see the movie? Fuck yeah. Yeah. You gotta go see the fucking Rambo. We back at movies again, bitches. <laughs> he told me that Rambo. We're not talking about Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. Stallone's doing another Rambo. Yeah, yeah. Last Blood. When are they gonna swap Last it out? Blood. When are they gonna nah, swap it out? Swap out Rambo. Don't swap out John Rambo. You don't swap out John Rambo. All he wanted to do was get a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 he wanted. Oh, he wanted. He wanted. He wasn't bombing nobody. Yeah. He only wanted they, a sandwich. They struck fresh blood. They struck fresh blood. He just wanted a sandwich. All right. A I gotta, hero. I gotta check it out. A hero. I've seen him in Creed, and he's looking kind of old. He's looking well, he kind of old. old. He played old man in this. Yo, uh, yo that, but he's still ripped. That Rambo yeah, shit, yeah. he can do that. He's still ripped. He's still ripped. He can do that. He's still ripped. He's still ripped. He's still ripped. Like, he toned it down for Creed. 
Okay. But he's still ripped. He's still, he was doping. Did, did you see Creed 2? I saw Creed 2. Yeah, yeah. Good. I was good. Yeah. You know, I, I was in Creed 2. I didn't see you in Creed 2. I was in the mall. Where were you I at? I was in the crowd, <laughs> way in the back. You can see a silhouette of my hat. At the film or at the electric factory? No, uh, no, it wasn't at the electric factory. They, 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 it was supposed, they told you it was at the electric factory. Oh. But it was shot It was shot in this like green screen thing way out east, east bubble pump near where Sam lives. Oh, nice, Sam. <laughs> Uh -huh. Man, we need to come closer. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Keep out the hood. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we got uh uh the plug that the plug the plugs I met by Benny Benny the Butcher okay. and Delusion of Grandeur by Gucci Mane. That's what I've been listening to. Now that Ty Ski is here, we can uh, shoot it over here to TSK One. Uh, have you been listening to any hip hop this week? Have I? Did you partake in any hip hop? I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I say, I always say this segment is not big enough to cover the shit I be uh, listening yeah, to, get it, get and I'm gonna run shit down. But I'm only sharing one with you. Like the shit I've been listening to, just as I come and go. I've been I've been listening to um, Dillard's Donuts. I've been listening to Stetson Sonics. That's Stetson Sonics whole catalog, maybe except the last album. Um, what did you I'm say? The first one was the name? Dillard's Jay Dillard. Jay, Jay Dillard. Okay. Jay Dillard's Donuts. And I've been listening to, but what I want to share with you is I've been listening to Jungle Brothers because I got it like that. Ah, so so tune that up. I've been yeah. listening to all that shit, yeah. but I can't go into my whole yeah you know yeah, I mean? yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just want to share the Jungle Brothers with y'all to uh because I got it like that. I mean, I, it was man, it just was it. What album was that on? That was on um the first one. The first album. All right. The first one, uh, what was the first one called? Straight Out the Jungle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. Straight That's one with Black and Black. Yeah. Black is Black, Straight yeah. Out the Jungle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it just like, man, it just, it just, it just put, had me, yeah. Listen to that break, man. That shit just take you back, man. And I was like, I, like I was at, at on the plantation, man. I was just getting my jig on. Who was doing that production at the time? Was it, it wasn't Prince Paul. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it was Prince Paul. No, nah, it wasn't Prince Paul because he started with Daylight. Yeah, Lock. because they were all separate. Yeah. And they, the uh, JVs was kind of. They were all part of the same camp. They were all part of the same crew. But they weren't they part of the same camp. They came together. They didn't yeah, grow up together. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The Jungle Brothers was kind of the group for them. They was kind of like the meeting ground because everybody respected them. Um, Q-Tip was pretty much brought in by by, by Africa. Mm. Um, they they pretty much all went to school together to no like uh, Q-Tip, uh, Sammy B, and um and Africa. I think they went to school together, some shit like that, if mm. I'm not mistaken. But they was kind of what brought them all together. They, the Jungle Brothers was their reason to be getting to get with the uh, their collab. Yeah. Okay. And um, the Daylight, they just respected and loved the Jungle Brothers. So when the Jungle Brothers was around, it was like, fuck it, y'all might as well come on too. And that's how Buddy came about. Okay. Yeah. It was okay. just like a... And the whole native tongue. A, a, a spontaneous form. collective from yeah, them. Man. Because everybody had everybody had other crews that they ran with mm -hmm. and other crews that they... That yeah, was, because that they Latifah was a part of native tongue, but right. she was also part of the flavor unit. Right. Right. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Jungle Brothers start to I remember them kind of branching off into more of a house vibe, a more of a like They was a, always doing house. Like house type. But I don't I, I don't remember that on the first album. Was that like more girl, of the second yeah, album? Yeah, that was on the first album. The house you. Was that first that's first album. That was first album. That was my shit. And Africa Africa said that That was my because, shit. <laughs> because it was a house it was a house scene. Just thriving, of course, in New York City. Right. And like when clubs were closed, yeah. house clubs, the house scene was opening up. I'm sorry. And, uh, <laughs> nah, I, it's, it's fine. It's good. You all the tank top, everything. You are so fit in the mold. <laughs> For house music, you're a little too stiff. Yeah, you're a little, yeah, you are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta work it. Uh huh. Yo. <laughs> I wasn't in the house music. That was big house. I wasn't in the house music. Drexel had a station. Drex the Drexel um radio. I was not in the house Drexel music. Drexel University had a station. I remember writing some people little chicks. They was like, yo, you like house music? I'm like, yeah, it's alright. But it was only I was just saying I was fronting. Yeah. See the thing about house music. I loved house music. Like, see the thing about house music. It was house music didn't come alone. It didn't come by itself. Mm -hmm. You had to be. It was the scene. It was the club. Mm -hmm. It was house dancing. Yeah, it was dancing. Right. It was the whole collective thing. Right. Like, right. I was just like, nah, I, I, I like Mob Deep. <laughs> <laughs> I like Big Daddy like King. Deep I, like, I like Big Daddy nah, King. Like, Big, Big Daddy King didn't have a house song. 
So I, I mean, yeah, Tifa had a house song. I didn't. I, I didn't yeah, give me yeah, body. Give me body. Yeah. Yeah. And then subsequently, people started putting them on their albums and stuff yeah, like because that. Because it was. But a I, 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 I skip. I just skip past those songs. Did you really? I just get past those songs. I, I didn't like. I didn't like. I, did, yeah, I had more. Coming up, if it was a house scene closer to us, I, I definitely would have. Uh, I definitely would have been. Gone. I remember when like, we had a small one. I can't like it wasn't big. It wasn't huge like NY, but we had a we had a small one, and it was a it was a good following here in Philly. It was, and I was young. I was probably like a very like young new teenager, but I was totally into it. Into the scene. I, I, I wasn't. Yeah. It. I remember Black was Black used to tell me about it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, they play uh, Coogee rap. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I was into like hardcore rap dudes. Like, At that time, like yeah. Coogee rap, Ice Cube. Yeah. Like, I wanted to be mad. Yeah. What was this? What was this release date of this? Do we have that? This was, uh, what was eight, the year? 80. 19, 1980 is when this Straight Out the Jungle album was released. Nah, no, that's, that's what it says. That's not right. Man, that's, that's what it says. Right. Is, is that title? Yeah, this is title. Title, title good for that. T- title Yo, fucked up. Title good for that. Oh, yeah, because that was that. that yeah, that had to be like right 87. I was straight, right. yeah. Some shit like it that. It gotta be 87. It gotta be 87. Yeah. Um, title um, y'all fucking up. Girl, Girl, Young Bottle like, Forces yeah, in yeah, Nature came out in 88. Yeah. So it's gotta be every bit of 87. Yeah, yeah. We got to fact check real fast. I gotta see this. Title fucking up. But but nah, you know that's what I've been fucking with. That, it was yeah, just, 87, I was listening to 87, 87, 88. 87, yep, 87, yep. 87, 88. Yeah, 80. Cause we was like 80. Yeah, 80. I'm, I'm like, like I, I'm reading it on title. I'm like, get title on the phone. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jungle Brothers. So we got like a little diverse array. We do. You see, you listen to Fresh Prince and uh, Summer Classics. Kim and Summer Stuff. You listen to the Jungle Brothers. Did you hear the uh, Benny the Butcher joint yet? I have not. You gotta take it. I'm told. I was, uh, I was shopping brutal. with Chrissy. It's brutal. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's brutal. You can't plus, lose money. Plus, I've been like uh, really like prepared for for to get some work done. I've been listening to uh, Ray's album. I can't really speak about it. Oh, um, so Supreme? yeah, oh, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Ray Supreme. I actually, he going by the government these days. Ray oh, Foles. Oh, he dropped going the Supreme. Ray Foles. You heard dropped the Supreme. <laughs> I ain't want to shout your government out, but Todd did it first. <laughs> yeah, he, he going by Ray Foles. Shout out to Ray Foles. Uh, work. Album is uh just about complete and uh it's fucking phenomenal, right? right? So we gonna have to be talking about that in uh, yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, we we'll get them on. That's all. That's yeah, we'll get them on. All right, um, we gonna cut to a break. Uh, we be right back. More rap delights, more TSK one, more Miss Smith, more bats. You know how we do. You know what I mean? Don't you take us out dancing? Um, I'm taking y'all nowhere. Don't you take us out dancing? How you was just uh. Yeah, no, that's not. That's not how you was just dancing. That's not how you be in the clubs. Don't, don't front. <laughs> <laughs> I'm TSK One, and this is Rap the Lights. And that's not like, saying enough. Yeah, it's not, that this fell. You know what this fell into for me? This was almost in the same vein as like CNC Music Factory yeah. and all that. I wasn't listening to that. Yeah, because that's club music. Yeah, and like all, and all that, all that like bridge. Yeah, like so what you want me to do? But I mean, house was like you know underground. Yeah, club music. Yeah, so I wasn't go, I wasn't going to clubs. I didn't didn't dance like to this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I wasn't in the CNC music factory or anything like that, so I would I, I would hear it. No correlation, no re- no correlation with what Yeah, that. yeah. So I just I would hear it and I would just skip it. You wasn't into Miss Matthews? Huh? C.C. Peniston? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck Peniston. no, I wasn't. I wasn't dancing yeah, you wasn't into Miss Matthews and C.C. Peniston? Listen. You wanna see? When we was going to the house party, I mean the house party. They wasn't playing that. Nah, because that's different. You know what I mean? A house party is different. No, house, house party music. wouldn't be playing this. No, nah. it's totally different. That's what I'm saying. So that's the only place I was going this to dance. This was only playing in like college campuses and the black like sets. That was it. It's only where you can find this. You wasn't finding this shit nowhere else. Sam, we're not we're not rolling, are we? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Yeah, fuck yeah. It. yeah. Sorry. We can still roll. I, I like, I like. Fuck it. Cool. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But I never really, I never really fucked with 
the house stuff. Cause like, I, even, I, it wasn't like I hated it. Like, yo, this, that yeah. shit is corny. Right. Yeah. Fuck that. I just like, all right, so let me skip past that. that I'm not into it. That right. tracking and um, like catching on YouTube, like house dance competitions and shit, it's it's worldwide and it's just pretty, it's pretty big. And then house dance demos and teach you how to do those basic house dance steps. And whatever, it's. But you didn't have that shit back then. It's fucking interesting. It's dope. You didn't but, um, have that back then. You went to the actual place, a party, where this shit was happening, and you just fell into it, and you just learned it. And you start rocking the big jeans, and that you just, you just fell into the. It was like a movement. Like you could see somebody walking down the street and know automatically that they was into a house. That they was a house head. Sure. Really? That's not how. How do we? How do we transition? Because this is what I was listening to in the party. In the party. I would come to the parties. They had this shit going. You walk to the party. <laughs> you can't even dance to this. I, I, I am dancing. You, no, you're not. You're hopping. You're doing hopscotch. No, no, no. Because we we had dancing. We would do it at house parties. You they were playing this at our house parties. Yes, Yes, really? Yes. Oh, I have a. Oh. Yes. I remember that. Yes, DJs was playing yeah, this shit. We were playing this shit at the fuck. Because, yeah. like, oh, cause like the simple, the simple group up. Nah, nobody was watching. They were playing Yo. Redhead Kingpin. They was playing, um. Redhead Kingpin. No, yeah, that's what it is. Dance, like, dance rap. Nah, nah. Nobody's nah. sitting there playing <laughs> hardcore. Nah, nah. You know what? I not can't. Redhead Kingpin. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Like, and this we is was... why Philly niggas keep posting up and don't dance because it's stuff nah, like nah. that. We used to dance, and that's what we used to do them goofy dances like uh -huh, the baseball and, man and, and all boxing. kind of shit like that. And boxing and shit. Boxing was our thing because you you could you could like, <laughs> but we be dancing on on beat. On beat, on yeah. beat. But he man was the he man was this shit. Yeah, yeah. It, listen, we was we was dancing to this stuff. I'm telling you. I don't remember dancing to this. Now I do remember dancing to what's the other one with um not this one, but the one we just talked about last week, Bushwick Bill. With, uh, um, I ain't doing mom playing tricks on me. Yeah, I used to you dance don't to that. dance to that. You know what else we used to dance uh, to? I want. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, no, you oh, definitely yeah. dance to that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that beat is so tough. <laughs> so tough. I got a, a Bushwick <laughs> note to add. <laughs> Again, again. Fuck your head up with that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, again, you weren't oh, really dancing to this nah, show. Nah, you nah. were just grooving to nah, it. You this weren't just dancing. This is when, uh, yeah. when you're a big pun and, um... But yeah, we didn't listen to that. You weren't so, dancing to that, no. Okay, welcome back to the Rap Delights Podcast. <laughs> I think we've been back. I think we've been back. <laughs> I am Batch. That is TSK1. This is Miss Smith. Hey, hey. Talking this hip-hop... House music, whatever the fuck they was talking about. I never danced so house music. House music was this shit, yo. Hey. Hey. Whatever. Whatever. Wait, 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 <laughs> like, wait, wait. If you got in a room. Yeah, if I was in a room, that's something different. If it was a little cutie and she was dancing house. Say no okay, more. we dancing house now. You know what I mean? <laughs> no problem. Why you know what I mean? everything you preface it on a woman? Like, you do something I, that's with That's why people go or... to parties. That's why guys go to parties. That's why guys get nice cars. If it wasn't for women, guys would be sitting in a cave playing PlayStation. That is a so cave. unfortunate. A cave. It's unfortunate playing that you allow women. That's another kind. That's another. What you mean, yo? That's another, that's we another, all here to help each that's other. We all here to help each that's other grow. That's another subject. You know what I mean? What you want from me? You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. We're going to shoot into this uh, next topic. Uh, let me go and turn down. Turn down uh, Twins. Joey Crack and, and Big Pun. You know what I mean? What you know about Joey yeah, Crack and Big Pun? And you don't stop. Seven on the undercover cop. Alright. Oh, shit. Now, just recently, um, DJ Supreme, Grandmaster Flash, was pre presented the Sweden's Polar Prize, which is like the equivalent of a Nobel Peace Prize for music. And um, I sent this text out to everybody. Did you get the text, TSK1? Yes. And uh, you got it, Miss Smith? I did. Okay, I so got everybody got though. the text and everything like that. You know what I mean? And um, this is the uh, first time ever that a DJ... Of any genre mm -hmm. has received this award. 
You know what I mean? And um, what I, is this award? What, what, what award? It's basically like it's a, it's a music award. Okay. It's like the, it's like a Nobel Peace Prize. A very or prestigious. Yeah, equivalent, a very prestigious. A, a equivalent of a, no, a Nobel Prize, but for yeah. music. Who's some of the uh, recipients of this award? Metallica. Yeah. Metallica is um, a recipient uh, of it. I fuck with Metallica. <laughs> I, I know do. you do. I know you do. Metallica, Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin yeah. uh, my Joni lead, Mitchell, my lead head too. Joni Mitchell, uh, Elton John, Chuck Berry, Dizzy Gillespie, mm-hmm. Quincy Paul Jones, Paul Simon, Ray Simon. Charles, uh, Yo Yo Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Pink Floyd, <laughs> including Quincy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? 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 But, uh, Go ahead. Yeah, um, continue, continue, continue. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is a great achievement for Flash and the foot of culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? One of our own is uh, got a button now. A pioneer. Yeah, a pioneer. Uh, definitely a Let pioneer. Let me say that again. A pioneer. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. Do the knowledge on that word, pioneer. Cause um cause 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 Flash was popping around the same time Herc was popping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cool Herc. Y'all don't know. Got a, the only hip hop podcast that I know of that has an actual picture of the Godfather of hip hop Cool Herc in the background. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and think like uh, I know of. Yeah. You might know something different. So, so didn't, uh, didn't so, he um, actually receive too like um, 130 grand? Was it like a million dollars in Swedish kronos or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that? 100, yeah, 100, 100, yeah. In America, money he got 100, 130 grand. Yeah. But no, I mean that's, 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 that's I would have took the grand. Yeah, you know I mean, instead of the, the, the prize, you keep the prize, and I take the money. You know, what I mean? you got some new turntables with that. Yeah. So, how you feel about this TSK one? Well, um, that's why I, I think it was important. What's the history of this award? Who were some of the recipients? recipients because of it. it could have been a, a, a fucking uh, hood ornament. Yeah. You know, as far as I know, because yeah. I'm not checking for it. Yeah. But um. Well, most of those awards are hood ornaments. Pretty much. You know now, I, mean? I, re- I, re- I respect, I respect, and I do listen to many of those other artists. But the thing I say, well, one thing I say, why did they, why did they award Flash? What was their reason? This committee or whatever, when they sat there, said, let's give it, the, let's give it the Grand Master Flash. They, and, do they explain that? And I'm not they even don't questioning go into that. that. No, they Listen, don't. I'm not even questioning. That's not my point. My point is like, like, Grand Master Flash as a DJ was not just a DJ. He was a technician. He was an an, an inventor who helped to establish. A scientist of sound and and of those two of those three components, two turntables with a mixer in the middle and how they play together, cooked up the speakers and a dance floor with people on it. Mm-hmm. Very, not just a sip some simple shit going on. It's yeah. Very nuanced. And if he's being rewarded for those achievements, I believe that's I'm it. fucking with that. Yeah. Well, I, I think that I think that has a lot to do with it. I, I mean, it, I think I mean of course he would have never got where he is without those achievements. So I think it's a combination right. of that, right. a combination of everything that he's done. Thus he's far. received high accolades here. I mean, do, what, what he show and, did he used to do? Was that Chappelle's show he used to DJ on? Uh, that no, that was um he was on um Chris Rock. Chris Rock show, yeah. right? There yeah. you go, Chappelle's show. But didn't they Same just difference. receive the um? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they just receive the um the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I don't know. Yeah, 2007. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Grand Grandmaster Master Flash, Flash and, and the Furious Five. Five. No, no, but this just went to Grandmaster Flash yeah, today, right? Flash. Okay. This okay. Just the Flash. BB okay. King also was a recipient of this award. Mm-hmm. I was Bob saying Dylan, Quincy Jones, yeah. Bruce Springsteen. So, and I'm saying I'm talking like genius level the in regards Bruce. to Bruce, the Bruce, the dude, no, Bruce. no, no, uh, the boss, Bruce, the boss, Bruce. I, I, I never, you, you know, ain't fuck with Springsteen. Nah. <laughs> I know Nisi fuck with you. I like Springsteen. There you go. I knew she did. See how she looked at me? Yeah. I, like I, ain't fucking I can see you in one of those like checkered shirts and no, sleeves cut off. Now the shit in the 80s. <laughs> 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 oh, I like them. Billy <laughs> Joel. I like them all. But, but, like no, wait, but, we, but, the, but the boss, like, 
Cause that was your eighty shit. You watch, you sat there and watched videos. You watched the ball. You watched that shit too. Right. Everything that was on. But well, I was big into eighties pop and eighties like music, like Metallica. Yeah. I was into you all was? Of that shit Who back was in the eighties. Huh? Yeah, I was. Yeah. All right, we gonna have a conversation about Metallica. Okay. All right, brother. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm okay. gonna test your. So <laughs> shout out to <laughs> test my shout, Metallica. Shout out, out to Grandmaster Flash. Yeah, that's that's a great. For that, yeah, that's great. That's a great, great that's great award. So I'm happy. Salute, Flash. <laughs> Salute. No more. No more. I ain't got no. Me neither, right? We yeah. all out. Me and me and Miss Smith have already. We started. Busy. Somebody was late. Yeah, we got a little started early. You know what I mean? So uh, glad TSK one made it. You know what I mean? We're yeah, like, I, I was asleep. I, I'm I'm sorry. I was up. I didn't lay down till till daybreak this morning. See? Shenanigans. Disrespectful. I'm sorry. Shenanigans. I apologize. Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get into. Y'all weren't talking shit about. Me. Yeah, we was. <laughs> we're gonna get into the artist of the week. Ah, artist of the week is Philly's own. Classic. Uh, I, I can't even put into words what these brothers are to Philadelphia. It's, it's, but I will go on the record say the, the greatest, one of the on, greatest hip hop. To come out of Philadelphia, period. Right. Right next to Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. But I wouldn't put them in the same category. No, no, they Jeff and the Fresh Prince. But, but, um, we're talking about Three Times Dope, if you didn't know. Three Times Dope is a hip hop group from Philadelphia, Huntington Park. Yeah, man. Huntington Park. Not P. Don't think that. Not Hilltop. Not Hilltop. A lot of people think wow, they're from Hilltop. Wow, they were from Hilltop. A lot of people, see, that's the thing. A he, lot of he's, people, he, he, he. Because he was down, listen, listen. He's from Huntington Park. From Huntington Park to be exact. This group consists of EST, EST uh, Robert uh, Waller, Chuck Nice, Woody Wood. A genius on the board. Yeah, yeah. You used to see Chuck Nice on the jaw with this. Genius on the board. Chuck man. Nice and, um... Three three times or three times D as they were called for short were part of the Hilltop Hustler crew, who was Steady B, mm -hmm. Cool C, uh, mentally gifted, um, the youngsters later on and everything like that. Managed by Lawrence Goodman. Managed by managed, managed and robbed by Lawrence Goodman. <laughs> Lawrence Goodman was Steady B's uncle, yeah. and he managed um, the uh, Three Times Dope and had popular art, but Three Times Dope wasn't all popular art. Yeah. Or But the, the, the uh, company or the, the deal that was broken, they were on Arista Records. Mm -hmm. the, first rap, the first hip hop act or rap group that was on Ar Ar Arista Records. Mm -hmm. Probably the only one. Well, they, well until, Arista eventually up until started distributing, distributing Bad, Bad Boy. Boy. Yeah, but so, up until then, so, they just had artists like. Um, um, uh, Whitney Houston was right, a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What's the gentleman that you said? Lawrence Goodman? Lawrence Goodman, was, LG. Was, was that the father of the guy? That's the father of the youngsters. The youngsters. That, that, that's what it is. Karan yeah, Karan. 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 And, Karan. And, that's uh, where it was. Uh, that's yeah, where it was. was. Yeah, that was yeah. their pop. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, their classic uh, LP, uh, original style was Rover C, created terminologies like Act Nicholas. Act from Nicholas. Act Nicholas. And from the Giddy Up. And one of the people that introduced me to Joe Familiarism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being Joe. I was introduced to uh, the, the term Joe Familiar, not from the street, but from from uh, Three Times Dope's uh, debut album, yeah, Original yeah, Style. Yeah. Three Times Dope follow up album, um, Live from that Nicholas Land, was a uh, attempt at more commercial work and spawned two hits, Break Your Knees and Peace Yourself. EST, the. the, 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 the act, huh? Go ahead. EST. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, after the the group disbanded or whatever the case may be, he became a prolific writer in his own right and award winning writer, writing for acts like Destiny Child or Beyonce and everything like that. Uh, we want to shoot over there to my man TSK One. How did you feel about Three Times Dope TSK One? Like back in the '80s, um, well back in eight. Woo! Oh, this is Chuck Nice and Chuck. I say Chuck Nice is a a a a. a a goddamn genius on the board because he not only produced for it did beats for uh, his crew three times dope he did ma major production for Cool C and Steady B mm -hmm. and he was like one of the first motherfuckers in Philly to do that he was doing like almost like a Molly Mall type of thing where right. he was producing right. for a crew mm -hmm. and yeah, he man. was pulling 
the stuff that he was pulling, when I say pulling, the the, 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 the records that he was pulling a sample from wasn't just some running a mill breakbeat album shit, man. He was digging. Yeah. yeah. It was like Chuck was digging. He was going deeper than what the average, um, you know, uh, crew was doing at the time. And he was showing and proving that. I mean, he can make funky joints. And his crew, I mean, they was really rocking that shit, man. And the thing, like, EST, to me, and not only, not and, and, and many, many like me, yourself included, mm-hmm. was bar none, the greatest fucking lyricist yeah. to ever come out of Philadelphia up until Tariq Trotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They the fucking Mount Rushmore of Philly MCs, yeah, in, in yeah, my opinion. Yeah, absolutely, you know what I mean? absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. He, he would, Remember we saw him at the Fever. Yeah. Oh my God, Ooh, Fever. Remember the Fever wow. back in the day? Yeah, we saw him at wow. the Fever, and we were just there on some young boys. Wasn't that when Ali who picked us up? Yeah, yeah. And we were just down in there. He was just down there. We wasn't even supposed to be the fuck there. We were just hanging no, we out. Was dead. My man Al stole his mom's car, and then we went down to the Fever. Yeah, we were supposed to be there. <laughs> But the thing is, like, back in 88, like, it, the, the, the world was so smaller, it just in terms of, because uh, I lived in a, a section where it's considered, like, the bottom of the hill, mm-hmm. a hilltop, yeah. of 52nd, 52nd, 53rd Master Street, which is around the corner from Cool Street, and the hill was right there. Okay. So the connection, you went on, you would see people in the streets, and you would go to school with people who lived across town, up H, up Hunted Park. Mm-hmm. So conversations in, in, in class about really rubbing elbows with your favorite, your All favorite right. MC, your yeah. favorite rapper who had a record playing on the radio. It was, it was common. Yeah. So it was more, it was more um, interactive. You know what I'm saying? It it wasn't just like. That's how I fell in love with this shit. Mm. Because I could see the motherfuckers that I was, and they shit was dope. Yeah, shit was not fucking corny. And you could fucking have a conversation with a dude that know that motherfucker. And he wasn't bullshitting. Yeah, he, he knew really that nigga. Knew him. He really knew. Him. And you see the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you would see him out in the street. Yeah, Miss Smith, how did you feel about three times dope? So three times dope, next to Jazzy Jeff and the Press Prince, they were these, they were my favorite Philly group of all time. Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, What's more the recognizable. Prince? Yeah, well, they, had, they had the hits. More notable. Right, the hits. right. But you know if, I mean? if Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince were out of the picture, it would have been three times dope. Over Cool C, over everybody over else that was B. out. Over Steady B, everybody mm-hmm. else that was out at the time. I fell in love with them. Shout out to the Jukebox, Wave <laughs> Cable Vision. I saw the video with back the in the day. Box. With the good, yes, with the green yes. Box. And I completely felt like I was... EST, the Ed Migl- oh my god, like I lost it. I loved it. I don't even remember them playing that that much on radio, on greatest, local radio. Greatest man alive was the shit. Though. I, I remember, the, I, I, remember, remember the I just videos. remember watching the video. I remember exactly. the, I remember, I remember, I, I mean, I'm gonna let you finish. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I remember the videos very, very vividly. Um, and he just became like, the, the, what I'm sad about is that I didn't continue to follow him like you had just spoken about the third album i knew nothing about no that. Well, they, they wasn't the third album he was just writing EST started writing like just okay. writing lyrics and he wrote stuff for like destiny's child yeah, and stuff like yeah. that you know what i mean and yeah. he's still writing for like i think stuff like i think like some of the early beyonce albums and stuff yeah. like that so he still is getting credit so when i started listening to them i was a buck probably wasn't even a teenager yet so i don't really know like the vastness of how far and be how far and wide they went. Did they were they just local or did they actually kind of did other people were now, they were they you, known in other in other sectors, other cities you, and states? Mind you, well, uh, by us being here in Philly, it's different for us. Yeah. Now, did this this and this coming, is before the internet? This is come right, and this isn't this, yeah. this isn't eighty eight, but but they came out they debuted before that, but original Stalin came out in 88. 88 is a very important year for our hip hop. Mm-hmm. Very important mm-hmm. year. Absolutely. And uh, there, there, there's uh, uh, I'm, I'm embarked. I'm going to do Shout out to Larry Lair. Oh, Indeed. Yeah, Larry Lair. And I just thought about Larry Lair because um, <laughs> Shout out to Larry Three Lair. Times Dope helped to introduce us to Larry Lair, one of yeah. another uh, L- rapper L- L- from Larry. Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> Logan Valley. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Logan Valley in the mm-hmm. house up, up top. Um, um, 88 is a very important year, but uh, but but um, everything was smaller. It was more more con- you know condensed as as far as but because you're talking about 88, 89, 90, maybe 91. By the time around like like uh, um, uh, Life from McNicholas Land came out, mm-hmm. everything changed. Yeah, mm-hmm. everything changed. Yeah, the whole world changed. It was no getting pretty. 
Yeah. It was all fucking army gear. Yeah, yeah. So it's, then, it's like the scene changed, the scene, and, and and you can you never know what the reasons why uh, a, a a particular act may continue on or wait, whether they decide to say let's do some other shit. Yeah, and then yeah, these I, dudes is on a predominantly R and B label, right. and so they, they didn't know what the, didn't know fuck, what the to fuck to do with these dudes. Them niggas should have been a deaf beat. But just like we were well, just like we were viewing this on local radio on local TV, mm-hmm. we were also viewing, you know, two live crew and, and this one and that one on the two same crew. <laughs> on the same video station. So weren't others viewing DST? I mean, uh, 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 EST? I mean, I'm sure they were seeing right? it, but I mean, I'm, it's still a, record companies don't know. Ah, they were so hot though. They should, record I mean, companies don't know. You know, yeah. what I mean, record companies be like on some bullshit. Man. Production wise, they was ill, man. You had to put Steve Arrington out to do the vocals for a track that's based on a uh, slave track. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. That's fucking ill to just to do some shit like that. That is real Steve Erickson. That's not no fucking sa- no, 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 no look yeah, alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, no singer like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no karaoke. We get the knees. <laughs> that shit was fucking ill, man. They was they was ill, man. They was like to me the hip hop version as far as slickness and flyness. They was like the hip hop version of uh, fucking Adele Phonics. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you just that flavor, yeah, and he from the record fucking, covers, the fucking fly, gummies, gummy, yeah, the gummy, yeah. gummy, yeah. Because him and Bobby Brown was the only niggas rocking the gummies, but his gummy we had was tap, different. Yeah, tap money too. Yeah, tap, tap, tap money, money and, and tap money. And um, three times though, by the time live from that Nicholas Land, his was his was like way over there. By the time live from that Nicholas Land, they had um established an alliance with Kwame from New York. Yeah, tap yeah. money had BK left Steady B, left Steady B, and went to DJ for for Kwame. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Tap Money too. I remember when you know, like I remember when this this, this was like their first. This is the first video. Yes. And it was on the box and all that kind of crazy. And I remember Bob used to lose his fucking mind. <laughs> like I remember Bob, like because it was. Shout be out a, to All Purpose. Shout out to my man All Purpose. It used to be a corner <coughs> store on a on a on around the corner from my block, but it was a corner Who's store. Roosevelt. Roosevelt's, yeah. And Roosevelt was the was like a it was a candy store and he used to make cheese, sell cheese steaks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But all of the drug dealers hung out there. All of the niggas in the hood hung out there, eat cheese steaks, sit around, talk shit. I was a kid. I had just moved around there. I was like nine, I was like ten. 10, 11. And they used to play hip hop. They used to play videos mm-hmm. and on the on the TV. And we used to go around there and like we'd be playing video games because they had like like two arcade games, a big box arcade. Yeah. We'd be playing arcade games. And one time we playing an arcade game and this video came on. Bob left the game. I'm like, yo, we still playing. We still playing. He's like, no, it's three times. He said it's three times dope. It's three times dope. I'm like, fuck three times dope. I'm like, yo, we playing a game. And then when you watch the video, remember he had the video and he was on some That's um funny. remember he had the chicks on the side of him? Yeah. And all that was some yeah. um what's that what's that um that rock that rock dude that used to do that shit? Robert that. Palmer. Robert Palmer. Mm-hmm. He was on some Robert Palmer ass shit. Like the same yeah. thing like uh what yeah. Tone Loke did. Mm-hmm. And he had the chicks on the yeah. side and he was and he was just like styling mm-hmm. on the motherfuckers and it was just something totally different right. from him right. and what Steady was doing. Right. Yeah. Was and everybody inter- else. He was an entertainer. And, yeah. And he was selling that shit, bro. Yeah. EST is that shit, bro. Like, I just think his if a, was a big dude. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Rob ain't small, but he wasn't necessarily, you know, he wasn't necessarily big, but he was a big dude. Yeah. But he was like, yeah, he was doing he his was light on his feet. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. <laughs> I remember they was remember Rap Mania. Remember uh, they had the video, the, the whole concert that they had on pay per view. Rap Mania, y'all remember that shit? I don't remember that. They had it was a big concert that they had. It was on East Coast and West Coast, Sounds and it was on fucking. It was a pay per view. It was on pay per view. Yeah, we wasn't paying for no pay per view. And they, they had that. fucking rap. That's a netta. <laughs> Listen, we, next time we all get together, we got to talk about Rap Mania. I'm, I'm gonna find that shit. Rap Mania had everybody on that motherfucker. Roxanne, Shante, Ice T, Three Times Dope. Everybody was on that motherfucker, and they were on there. Yeah. They were the only, as far as I remember, because I know Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince weren't on there. No, the only thing I remember they, is... They were too, they were, they were long. <laughs> I remember Dance Mania hey, big, big, from the Cosby big, big, Show. Big, 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 one of them. When Cockroach yeah, yeah, was yeah. trying to get on. Remember Dance Mania from the Cosby Show? Oh, yeah. Cockroach, that's Fucking the only thing. Cockroach. <laughs> anyway. That's the only one I remember. I don't remember. <laughs> no, right Shout out to EST. Shout out to Three Times Dope. Shout out to TSK1 and Miss Smith. Shout out to myself. We'll be right back with more Rap Delights, more of this hip-hop shit. Don't forget Chuck Nice and Woody Wood. Chuck Nice and Woody Wood.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know that like, you know this was a diss track. Yeah, yeah, this was a diss track. That's what this is about. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to the Rap Delights Podcast. I am Bats. That is TSK1. Jeez. That is Miss Smith. She got the guns. Look. <laughs> Listen, I throw them up. I throw them up. But not for this joint. But I will throw them up. I will throw them up. No, they, definitely. They, sometimes they go way in. <laughs> right. Did he get a, they did a little snake joint? TMI, you, you're showing this too much. You're showing us too much of what goes on Listen, in that video. You know Nikki had Jamaican. Hey! Hey, shout yeah, out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trinidad. Huh? Trini, she Trini. Who? She is. No, but Nikki, I'm talking about my Nikki. Oh. Is half Jamaican. Oh, no, that Nikki's Trini. Yeah, that yeah. Nikki is Trini. His Nikki. You but, know, he always got shout out. He always got shout out, Bay. Yeah, shout out to Bay. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's all the same shit to me. Belize, Jamaica, <laughs> Trini. <laughs> and all it the is same so shit. not the same The only thing that's shit. different is Haiti. It's so not the same shit. The only thing that's different is fucking Haiti. It's so not. And y'all, because y'all didn't know, yeah, y'all ain't Haitian. I know it's not the same thing, but the women, when I meet them, I deal with them the same. I need to talk about music wise. I yeah, don't like reggae, I but I like Soka. I like Calypso. Okay, everybody's seen the Megatron Nikki video. It's trending on YouTube and all over the place and everything like that. <laughs> Nikki is back. Nikki Minaj is back. So how do you feel about it, TSK One? Um, Nikki's back. Emphasis on Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nikki is a very lovely woman. Um, she's pretty. She's a nice to look at in the video. Yeah, she's pretty. Um, it's it's got it's de- definitely does have an island thing going on. Yeah, reminds me of reggae night mm-hmm. back at, at, at Pegasus. At Pegasus? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know reggae night at Pegasus used to do it, yo. Yo, they used to come late, not tip, and trash the joint. Give me, give me a Alize Ponyrox boy. <laughs> the funniest give shit I ever Al- heard. Pun Ponyrox. Give me an Alize Ponyrox boy. Mm. No, I mean, if you like colors and, you know, whatever. You com- <laughs> said colors. <laughs> you like colors. And she showed a lot of she showed a lot of flesh in this video. As usual. And she's she 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 she's a she very not? lovely woman. When a very lovely not? woman. And um, That's a politically correct answer. But we're going to. And that's that's my. Uh, that's shout out to Meat Mills. That's my contribution. Poli- <laughs> Shade. So much. Shout out to so Meat Mills. So what, what, you, what you think, Miss Smith? Meat Mill, uh, bad motherfucker. You know what I mean? I think this was some regular shit. I think it was some regular. Nikki, I don't think she like raised came back, bar. raised the bar at all. This is this reminds me of another video she did. Me of Anaconda video. Anaconda, exactly. Yeah, it it's just like video. Anaconda, like Anaconda video. Me. Anaconda. 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 That was that uh, Kim joint, right? No, that was no, her. that was that her. Was my Anaconda, the one she okay. sent with Mix a Lot. Yeah, my Anaconda yeah. don't. All this shit my goes over my fucking head. <laughs> my Anaconda don't want none of that shit. That yeah, so shit. it was, and, and it was, it was almost kind of similar to what that what that that shit Kim did. You know, just some colors and some uh, fashion lights yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and talk, talking mm-hmm. it, it's, and yeah. you know, it kind of. Sh- this is this is what you have to do when young girls got your foot and they foot in your ass. You know what I mean? This is the kind of this is what you just gotta do. You gotta like try to it try proves to, my theory. Yeah, or, I mean, or yeah just, but I can I can say Cardi though. When you put them, when you put her against it, and you look at Cardi's body of work that she's putting out, and 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 video imagery is completely different than what. Like she should have definitely raised the bar. This was some regular, basic Nikki to me. I think and, she could have did better. I gotta be honest. And the song I'm, is I'm, like. I'm, I am not a fan. Have never been a fan. That's why I say she's very nice to look at. I ain't, no, I'm not a fan. I've never been a fan. I, of anything I, that she's said, I, Nicki I, Minaj. I, used, I am not. I used to be not, a fan of Nikki. Not before checking she started, anything. She did. Before I she like, started I, getting petty I, on the petty wagon with the Cardi thing, I wish she would have just kind of. I, I like. I remember when she came out with her, uh, true. like her first like singles. What was the joint she had? The uh, like what was that the the, the Wicked Witch joint? Yeah. That was kind of cool. Yeah. She was funny, you know what I mean? And then she had the joint. Remember she did uh Monster. Monster. With uh with, with on Ye's album. Yeah. That was like her. That was her peak. Her breakout. Mm-hmm. That that was her fucking peak mm-hmm. when she did monster with yay because that was yay ross 
Kanye, Ross, Jay Z, and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. And she kind of like killed everybody. And then she did another dip with Drake. What was the one with Drake she did? Um, I can't think of it. Well, she did but another she, one with Drake. That, yeah, again, she that, had she Drake bodied that. Again, that was I, wasn't, good. I wasn't a fan that was like, good. of her music, but yeah. I, I saw what she was doing and I like, okay, I was a fan of certain verses here and there. I liked her. I appreciated her because she was another female. She was in hip hop, and I liked her. She girl was doing power. big things. Yeah, girl power. Shout out. What? <laughs> Me too. That shit was um, rap. But, uh, it was the, I liked it her. It was the void of hip hop. I like. I, I really. I liked her because of that. She was. She was. She like, was rap, Miss Smith. She was a cha- a risk taker. She had like no. She just did what she wanted to do, and she reminded me of like Kelly nice Foxy looking. back in the day. <laughs> I can't, I can't. The commentary, uh, but she reminded me of Kim and Foxy back in the day. Like but a then, blend of both of them. Just like, had the rawness of her. You she know what I mean? Foxy. She just the rawness of. Her. You don't she, think she was a Foxy? No. Hell no. Foxy. I'm not talking about lyrically. Foxy. No, when you, I'm when, not when, talking about but lyrically. No, but you gotta I'm say that. I'm talking about the rawness yeah, you gotta, of yeah, her. You gotta say that. I'm though, talking. Okay. Okay. You, you just you gotta put her there. Say okay. It. You just can't put I'm it. talking about <laughs> as far as with the sex appeal and all of that. Lyrically, she was not a Foxy. Yeah. yeah okay. When let's, I first let's, heard let's, Foxy let's was on John LL Cool J, and let's I was like, huh? Yeah. No. Foxy. I didn't do that with Foxy. Yeah. With Mickey. Lyrically, no. But I'm talking about Mickey Minaj, not Mickey. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I'm talking about like on you know like a more of a sexual thing. That's a what I'm talking thing. about. Yeah. I, I would put her up there with Kim more than, than Foxy. Mm. You know what I mean? With Kim. Like, but Foxy was... I like Foxy. I like Foxy more than I like Kim. Mm-hmm. Like, because Foxy was just like doing her thing and yeah. she would just rap. Like, Kim was always like big little John or whatever like that. You know what I mean? Foxy was never somebody... Doing, even if she was doing shit with, with Jay, she was never like Jay's little John. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. She had her own little thing and that's what separated... Mm-hmm. Foxy from Kimberly, me like I like I, I like Nikki, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, I yeah. see, I see that. Yeah. I like yeah. where you say that. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like Nikki, but this video is it's it's, it's it's look like she paid a lot of money for something she already had. Yeah, that's exactly you know what I mean. What it that's what it looked like. It looked like she paid a lot of fucking money. Like when you I know sent that this video called, uh, called when you drip. sent this to our group chat, I thought I was money. about to see something spectacular. Yeah, it was a lot of fucking money for some shit she already fuck. I yeah. was expecting to see some like. Like, remember when Jay-Z and them did that on the run, the last on the run, mm-hmm. John, when they was, like, all theatric, and they was on bikes and yeah. putting masks. I was just yeah. like, some theatrical type shit. Mm-hmm. She need to be making movies at right. this point. Right. That's, that's right. my point. You know what I mean? And that's my point. When you when you said, uh, raise a point about um, competition with, with younger and newer and more relevant current artists, because mm-hmm. they had their point, and they mm-hmm. trying to compete and stay in the game. Now, fuck the game. Translate your shit to something new. Either an executive... Or become a mover and a fucking shaker. Everybody's not fucking, you know, Jay Z to be able to be a mover and a shaker and still put out, you know, quality material. Mm-hmm. Nah, learn, learn that fucking business and move over uh-huh. and, uh, and 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 usher other people in when yeah. you when you manage their careers. Yeah. Um, and, you know, entertainment ain't just being on somebody's yeah. fucking stage. Yeah, because right. she ain't Drake. Yeah, you know I mean, and I know you don't particularly like Drake, but that motherfucker, I've heard Ryan. Yeah, he's annoying. Yeah, but I've heard, <laughs> I've heard him on shit and be like, who? Mm-hmm. Sure. Like you know sure. what I mean? Like, you're like sure. I've heard him on shit. And like I've never really done that outside sure. of Monster. I never really heard that with Nikki. So Nikki has to give us more movies, and she's been in movies. Like you need to be there, and she she went to school for drama and stuff like that. You need to be making movie, Nikki. You need to be making movies, and I ain't talking. Man, ain't got it. Could be, and she can actually. I mean, she already doing. She can actually almost go soft porn. Mm. Soft, mm. soft. That's what I was asking. <laughs> soft, not X X X. Okay. Listen. That's- that's what I was implying. Yeah, soft. Why would not, you need to imply it? Why would you think so that she's she would, a very she's, lovely woman? No, not 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 not, not when I say no no. Because of the because of she's voluptuous. I don't know. No no no. Why because she's she already gyrating and, and stuff like that. It's already. So see, that's what y'all expect. So if she I don't did, expect anything. If she did go that actress what, route. No 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 no. If she did take that acting route, uh-huh. I would hope that she wouldn't do anything that would promote her in that light because that's what you expect. I would want to see her in a, in, in a whole different type of. Nicki Minaj, like, you know what I mean? Some drama, sci-fi, yeah, but, but, something but, but that didn't, but, but that didn't. porn is drama. It don't have to, listen, listen. You, you know what I'm talking no, about. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm going to advocate Miss Smith in this mm-hmm. regard. You're right. Mm-hmm. And stand up for women for women and women's rights in that regard. You know, kudos, kudos, applause. Hit that pl- applause button. Do that shit. You're right. Thanks, oh, so I'm going to advocate in that regard. <laughs> and, and partly, <laughs> partly. <laughs> Partly really? what? Partly, no, no, like partly what I was. I was joking. 
Okay. I'm being silly. No, he was dead ass. I was dead ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being silly. <laughs> I was dead but, ass. But if she did show up in a uh, in a in an in in explicit content film, I would not. You know, you ever see you ever see the movie? You ever see? It was a, it was a great movie with Kim Basinger and Mickey Rourke called A Nine and a Half Weeks. You ever see that movie? I have seen that movie. That's soft porn. Mm-hmm. That's soft porn. Yes, but that was that's, not, that was Kim Basinger in a role that you've never seen her before. Okay, but what I'm saying which is which allows you to really like get, for it to captivate. What I'm you. saying is, I, I don't, don't want to see Nikki in something I've seen her do. All her videos are soft porn. No, 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 no. That shit is just gyrating. But she could do acting in in, in movies <laughs> and right. still make it sexual. You know what I mean? Tomato, tomato. You know what I mean, that's what I'm saying. Right, nah, I mean, that's right. just me. Right. I mean, it's, it's uh-huh. either it's either that or, or go to fucking go to war with Cardi. And she ain't winning that one. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> right, because Cardi got a whole slew of writers. Which one? <laughs> which one you like on your sandwich? Uh, we're gonna get into real, real brief. <laughs> real brief. Uh, we're gonna get into um, somebody who makes a lot of headlines and not a lot of music. <laughs> no, that's a perfect way. To, that's a perfect way to announce it. Not a lot of music. Um, Harlem, uh, Harlem's own Azalea Banks has quit. Rap. So we're not taking a break? <laughs> we're going right in? We're going right in. All right, in. fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. It's taking a break from hip-hop. Um, have, are you familiar with any of her material? No. Are you familiar with any of her material? I'm not familiar with any Azalea of her Banks? material, but I Azalea know Banks. the name. I know the controversy behind the name Azalea Banks. Um, on her tracks, right? Never heard this song, Damon. All right, right, let's skip another one. We're going to go We're gonna go through a couple joints. Nah, nah, I, I can't lie. I can't lie. All right, I was about to front. Huh? I was about to try to front. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't know none of that shit. <laughs> she went to the, the LaGuardia High School for Music and Arts, you know what I mean? LaGuardia, Who what's that, it? in Queens? Yeah. Who has it? No, not no right. nothing. What, what, was that in Queens? Oh, shit. This sounds like house music, though. This is house music. It's exactly what it That's sounds what, like. Yeah. So nobody's heard of her music. Well, I, so I you don't care. It's a quit. house dance no, that you can like. So you don't care if she's quitting don't. rap. You don't, don't care. Don't. I actually, the first time I ever saw her, I don't. Was um, it's a movie called Love Beats and Rhymes. Is that the one with, with directed Rizzo? by the Rizzo? The Rizzo, yeah. Um, starring uh John uh David Washington um Common. John David Washington is uh there's a Washington son. Mm-hmm. This is one of his like first roles, or whatever like that. And this is the first. That was the first time I ever saw her or anything. Like that. And she's not. She's a good MC. Mm-hmm. She's a good MC. You know what I mean? But to make this announcement about quitting rap because, you know what I mean, these motherfuckers out here don't want that. They ain't ready for me or I'm too good and all it's that kind ploy. of stuff. It's a ploy. It's a ploy. It is a ploy it to like make a, a statement. Anytime you make a statement, it's like motherfuckers go on social media say, I'm and, say, Facebook. and say some I'm shit. About, I'm, about to, I'm about to delete my account. Motherfucker, just delete your just account. Just delete your account. Just stop. I don't give a fuck. Just, just don't stop. go on there. Exactly. Nobody cares. You don't got to make no grandiose announcement exactly. and shit like that. Nobody cares. That's why this exactly. shit is a ploy. It's a ploy. And Everyone's if, done. If it's not, Louis it's Louis like, it's, just it's not an end to it. It's something. But people care. It's something. Really I care. Really, really. <laughs> I care. But like, like you said, just do it. Take that break that you need to take. Azalea, nobody cares. Yeah. Nobody cares. I don't care. She is very controversial in all the wrong ways. Yeah. Even the the, the joint that you just spoke about was her the Rizzo movie. Like she killed Rizzo in that movie. She yeah. talked Talk, so she bad. Well, this she, man gave her an opportunity and well, she, she been, killed she been dragging him. she been dragging the Rizzo for like three years. Yeah. I know she went through a whole thing with him and Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah. That old shit. Yep. Every time you turn around, it's just some old Twitter rant with it's a something. Back. Just stop. Yeah. Go away. We're over it. <laughs> over it. Over it. I, I feel like she is she is she's assassinating her own career she's done it she's doing it to herself nobody mm-hmm. even is checking for her mm-hmm. there's nobody playing her on radio i don't hear her on on, on, on satellite i don't hear her streaming anywhere nowhere when you text that shit out i was like who yeah <laughs> who? yeah <laughs> you was on some it's not even a, yeah <laughs> And that's why when he texted, I only know her for her controversy. Mm-hmm. I only yeah. know her for her right. war with Cardi. And then, and then she the one that went her. on. No, no, no. That was Killing the other Rizzo. motherfucker. That was the other motherfucker. Yeah. Um, that was the other chick that went on stage and took the mic from Jay Z with the New York shit. Little Mama. Oh, that was Little Mama. Mama. I fuck with Little Mama. Little Mama's tough. Little Mama's Mama. doing big things right yeah, now. I fuck with Little Mama. Little Mama's now, doing now, big see, things right see now. See how the subject just changed. Yeah, yeah. Little Mama's doing big things. Little Mama is like my. I really like Little Mama. You know what I mean? I remember I bought that her like I was the album with lip gloss. On it and everything. Mm-hmm. I bought that for Dominique. You bought that for Dominique, mm-hmm. really? Yeah, that was Dominique. Yeah, yeah, album? I, bought, I bought it for yeah, Dominique. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fact check that. You gotta do, you 
Can we get Dominique here, please? Can we get Dominique here, please? Check that shit. Nah, she got she got it's in her collection. You know what I mean? I did buy it for that's where you had it. But it was a. I used to like, I used to like those, she had, remember she had that John, uh, the, the shoe game video that I posted up a couple weeks, a couple uh, months back? She, she, I like her, I like, I, but, but Azalea Banks can kick rocks, shout, we can, if we can switch out Azalea Banks for Little Mama, like, Azalea, any kind of accolades Azalea Banks has, take it from Azalea Banks, just give it all to Little Mama, it would yeah. be great, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, whatever, you know what I mean? If you're leaving hip hop or rap, bye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll miss it. So, next topic is claps. Look, <laughs> Scott. Bye. Peace out. Everybody say bye to God, your bank. God bless. <laughs> God, God bless. <laughs> Everybody say bye to your bank. All right. So now, uh, last topic of the day. I know Miss Smith has been itching, mm. itching for a scratch to get into mm. this whole conversation. Um. Our sister, <laughs> Barty, Cardi B, you know what I mean, has won, has been awarded the Songwriter of the Year by ASCAP. She's all smiling. She's up there getting her award. She was sitting up there with all set, getting her award and everything like that. Shout out to Cardi B she, for getting a... She cussed. Uh, she, called, she called everybody bitches. Uh, fuck y'all bitches. You know what I mean? Cardi B has won Songwriter of the Year by ASCAP. Miss... We're going to... No, we don't, no, we don't shoot over here. No. <laughs> no. 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 You can't get the floor yet. We're going to shoot over here to my man TSK1. <laughs> and we're going to talk about Cardi B getting the Songwriter of the Year from ASCAP. Ass crap. <laughs> how do you feel about that, brother? I still don't know how I feel. I mean, you know, she, she's a... a and, like we we said this Here, on our take me in, take me in. Not you, <laughs> not you. I was gonna send it. I was gonna pass the ball to you, but I was gonna pass the rock to you. Take me in, take me in, take me in. Too high. You're too high. You're too high. Like kidding, kidding, black. Yo, kidding, play. Relax. You gotta relax. Right. Right. Calm right. down. Calm down. Shout out to Nori. You gotta relax. All right, all right. So anyway, um, <laughs> now nah, we said this on our past uh, uh, episodes about what well, I stated is that she's an entertainer. Mm -hmm. She's a pop star. Mm -hmm. And um, what anybody does in that industry, what awards they get is beyond me. You know, <laughs> my fucking my fucking reasons or my reasons or, or they, they go deeper and, that, and that's just personal. Mm -hmm. But kudos to her. Good for her. I mean, you know, she got a writing, writing team, right? Huh? She got a writing team, right? I don't know. I mean, that's what that's what say that people say and whatever like that, whatever like that. You know what I mean? But are you? Are All right. When you ask questions, that leaves the door open for me to respond. <laughs> All right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go. 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 I, I don't have go. an opinion. This go. award. I, I don't even have an opinion. This award. I don't. Is bullshit. All right. All to give this award. All awards are bullshit. Though. Let me just. Okay, go, I, all go, awards go, are bullshit. Go, go. But this award, and I'm a fan of Cardi and her writers. Don't get me wrong. The two songs that she was nominated, that she received this award for, there's a slew of writers behind her. To give this woman the award as the first female rapper, when there are others who have killed songs before her, Latifah, uh, 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 what's my girl, MC Light. Everybody, and you, you know get what? you you. She she is educating me right you now. You present her. Go ahead. No, yeah. You present her with this award. Yeah. I, I I I don't take lightly to that. Say it loud. To me, it don't mean this is. Stop. You guys no, have been telling me saying? for years that saying? awards don't mean shit, and I finally see yeah, it. Right. I finally get it with this one. Y'all just throw shit out just to say we did that. It's a popularity show. It's it's, it's unfortunate. I feel the same way about this all the way around. Cause there's so many female rappers before her that should have and, and could have gotten this I award. Thought was going, I thought she was going to be happy about this shit. But, but I, think, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't no. know. We don't talk about this shit. No. I don't talk about this no. shit. I don't even. I, yo, no. until that text came over, till I got that text, I didn't know shit about no, no. fucking uh, ass cap. Award. Like I said, I'm not hating. I'm a fan of Cardi. But if you're going to do it right, then give that shit to the entire writing squad. 
You don't give it to present so, it to this one. So every, it's like an Oscar. Everybody so gets one. one. That's, that's goddamn right. <laughs> like the yes. little, little leagues where that's you got exactly eighth place. That's exactly it. You got them little that's leagues exactly out there where you get place. That's no, exactly but I feel, it. No, I need, I, I, um, Ms. Smith, I feel you. Yep. I feel you in that regard. Um, no, nah, I mean you pulled me back to reality yeah. in, in, base, in in your position and your stance. I, I believe, I believe, I believe everything you said. Yeah, and I shout out to my homie Quint Q. Quincy put me on. Quentin put me on to this. I didn't even know about this day. Y'all know Quint, don't you know yeah. Quint? Yeah, put me on this. Q? I didn't even know. You know Q. I do. Yeah, yeah. He was telling me he posted something the other day, and I went in. I, 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 saw, <laughs> I went yeah, in. Yeah, I, was I, I showed you. I'm like, oh, so angry. This, small world. this yeah. nigga know everybody. Small world. Oh, this motherfucker know everybody. <laughs> Shut up, Q. Shout out to grade school. Shout, Shout out to Q. Q. Shout out to Q. Hamilton. <laughs> Shout out to that beard. <laughs> <laughs> they hate it. They hate it. That beer got Gerald, his own. Gerald, <laughs> like Gerald Levert. That <laughs> beer got his own Instagram account. Yeah, I mean, shout out to Elroy. Yeah, mean, no, shout no, out no. to Melly Poo. The when whole I family. Saw it, like, I'm, I'm like sweating. I'm like, I'm really, I was really passionate about this because I just didn't feel like this was, this was, this was, this was a just do. I feel like this was just some bullshit that was just saying, you know. You know what I think it was? What do you think it was? You, well, do you know what ASCAP is? Yeah, ass crap. <laughs> ASCAP <laughs> is a publishing house. It's a publishing company. Mm -hmm. They, you basically, you sign with them, and they watch your songs or writings or whatever like that you got out there in the world, and then they collect your money for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think Cardi got this award based on the fact that she collected more money for ASCAP than any other person that's that's legally a writer with them. Mm -hmm. And that's only that's all it is. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Now she could tote it around and be great and all that kind of stuff like that. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at all of the cake and ice cream is gone. That's all it's about. It's about because yeah. she's registered as a writer with ASCAP, and she made them more money than any other writer this year. Because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember this award ever being. Yeah, because it hasn't been troubled down to like hip hop. Or yeah, it hasn't been like hip hop. Other motherfucker, other fucker. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. somebody like. And then you know, Elton when, John. when yeah, somebody like, like this, that, you but know. when somebody like this receives this type of award, it makes you question everyone that came before her. Yeah, well, you know. But I, I do. I, and I, and but I, don't, I do. That's why this, came this But honestly, I don't know how much or how little Cardi is really writing. I don't know. I'm not in the studios. I don't know. I hear about ghostwriters, but a lot of times, you know, and there's a lot of, it's these, and, and I want you to hear this. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of dudes out there with a lot of opinions on female rappers that don't know tit. Mm -hmm. And they just mad because they hate women. Mm -hmm. And they see somebody, a woman doing good, and they just mad as fuck. And they'll make up any kind of story just mm -hmm. to discredit anything that a woman is doing. This nigga that say that I remember it was a dude online talking about Nas was helping Lauren Hill write. He talking about I, I've been around New York. I know, I know. I'm like, dude, I ain't never heard that in my right. life, bro. Right. I ain't never heard that. Yeah, right. You know I, I what I mean? I ain't never heard that in my life. But Cardi has made Cardi has not. She's publicly said that she had that people, she helping, has people her. helping her. Yeah, well, helping and somebody writing them like Chopin is something different. Somebody saying, yo, here go the paper. You know what I mean? That's something different than somebody saying, yo, change that. And say this instead of that. I've had motherfuckers but say we'll that. But we'll never me. know. That's what I'm saying. And so so those, I don't know. Those writers peek their heads and so I don't know. And so say, that's what I'm saying. So I, I don't. That. I don't know how much a motherfucker is contributing as nah. opposed to you coming like. This shit will come out. Case in point. It'll come out. I think we talked about this on an earlier episode. MC Light, when she was writing her verse for self-destruction. Right, right. She had a whole verse written for self-destruction. Mm -hmm. Completed, done, ready. With statistics and all that kind of stuff like that. She came in there. Karis once said, I don't like the verse. It's too preachy. Mm -hmm. So MC Light, like, well, what you want me to do? So MC Light sat back in the studio with LL Cool J mm -hmm. and created the rhyme that you hear on the self-destruction song now. Mm -hmm. That doesn't discredit Light. No. no, it doesn't. You know what I mean? Because, totally but no, it's not, I mean, that's somebody helping you write. That's not saying that LL said, yo, she don't need that verse. Here's a piece of paper. <laughs> Take that verse. That's somebody saying, okay, let's let's collaborate and do this, whatever, like that. I don't know how, we don't know how in depth somebody is in the studio. We don't. Party. You we don't are, know. You are 1,000. You know I mean? So I don't know that. So, so, and I know men and their egos. Mm -hmm. If a man was writing all that shit, nigga would be sitting out there like, no. <laughs> I need that award. Mm. You know what I mean? 
I know niggas. Well, it's still fresh, and maybe they haven't come out yet. And there but, are still people. Nah, if we talking about it, then them niggas know. Yeah, them no, niggas. Yeah, I they mean, know, but they, they haven't. Did. They haven't like come and say, "Yo, but that what was I'm me. saying I mean, is, I, I don't." Still fresh so, like so that. with the whole, I, it's just something from ASCAP. Mm-hmm. They, he, they made, she made them a lot of money, mm-hmm. and they get reward. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. It ain't something. To, it's not like Rob and Fab when they got a gra- when they got a Grammy and them niggas wasn't even singing. And Rob and Fab is who? Oh, uh, Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. Hey, it's not like, it and those songs was dope. Those songs was dope, but them niggas wasn't singing them. Mm-hmm. It still don't stop the songs from being dope, but them niggas wasn't singing. We thought they were singing them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if Cardi's not writing them and whatever the case may be, I don't I don't think she'd be able to get this much accolade, especially she getting a writing accolade. I don't think no niggas are going to let, because that's taking money out of your pocket. I don't know. You know what I mean? Because, because listen, 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 I don't know how in depth as when you're getting, when you're getting, when you're getting, goes into because when you're, listen, because when you're getting writing accolades as a writer, that allows you to write for other write people. Write for other people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that's taking that's money. That's your bread and butter. That's your bread and butter is writing. So I don't think too many writers are going to allow, that are in there writing and just giving her pieces of paper mm-hmm. are going to allow her to just walk away with that award. She's not that damn big. Well, you just said it. She made them millions and no, millions no, of dollars. No, no, she made ASCAP millions That's what I'm talking dollars. about. Well, so she's not that big where she could just say, no, you you didn't write that and just throw you away. She's not that big. She only had one out. No, it's, it's, I'm not saying you know that. I mean? I'm saying that everybody was compensated fairly. Everybody signed NDAs. Everybody has been awarded whatever they received. We, well, we don't compensated. know that. We don't know that. Listen, we don't know that. Very Listen. nuanced. Yeah, Listen, yeah, we yeah, looked it's, up the two songs. We yeah, looked at the songs it, that it's she. A, it's, it's many writers on there, but sometimes when you watch it, when you when you're looking at a song and you see writers on there, mm-hmm. and it says like like such and such 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 such. Sometimes it be the people you sampled it from. Right. They go down as writers. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. It's a lot of things that go right. into the whole writing thing. So if you sample an Al Green record. And it's just me. Let's say I produced it. You wrote it. I produced it. Okay. Al Green goes down as a writer. Uh huh. Because I sampled from Al Green. Right. And, and you know and what I mean? And Al Green dead as Dillinger, <laughs> but he's still going down as a motherfucking writer. Is he? Huh? Is, Al Green is Al Green dead? Oh no, you're not right. Sorry. <laughs> New rumor. Sorry. Don't go wrong with that. <laughs> New rumor. <laughs> well, he ain't around to be writing in the studio with me and, and Miss Smith. Right. You know what I mean? But he goes down as a writer. So I don't when I see uh-huh. when I see stuff like that, oh Drake has 18 writers on this one song. Yeah, because he sampled from this dude and that dude and that dude right. and that dude that dude. So all of yeah, those people. So it's nuance and people don't really, yeah, really get yeah, it. Really you know? get the whole thing. So I don't know, but it's really just an ass cap thing, and I honestly, I don't think too many writers are gonna let you get away. It's some music industry shit. Yeah, it's some music industry it shit. It's yeah, like it's internal. It it's yeah, not it's it not for fans. Yes. It's yeah. it's all mu- internally music yeah, industry absolutely, shit. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's yes, it is bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So bullshit. when you ask me, you know, I'm like, uh Yeah, I don't I'm 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 completely off for words. They don't mean anything. I used to think that awards are shit. I used to think that they actually nothing. held some type of weight. So can't do drugs. All right. So whether whether it's, whether you're writing Cardi, whether you're not writing, shout out to your ass cap award. Ass cap, ass cap award. You know what I mean? Uh, we're about to leave out of here. Uh, shout out to my man TSK One. Peace. Shout out to my sister Miss Smith, the Belizean baby. We will catch you next go round on Rap the Lights. I am Bat. Shout out to my man Sam behind the camera. Hey. Sammy G. <laughs> With the D-Sep shirt on. That's going to be my new joint. No. You don't get a writing. You don't get an ass cap award for saying, <laughs> okay. You don't, get a, you don't get an award for that, all right? <laughs> you making me think some shit. You know that? And it ain't good. What? <laughs> Now I'm half Jamaican? No, nope, not that you're half Jamaican. <laughs> that you have. Bum, bum, man! <laughs> the fuckery man! That you need like a little flag back here. Rap, 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 rap the light, light, light. Rap, rap the light, light, light. light.